Kintone is a customizable workplace platform that organizes your team's data, workflows, and conversations in one centralized place for a more streamlined work experience. First of all, we will open our Google Chrome and write Kintone login on it and enter as soon as we enter it we will see many websites on our screen on the first one of them as we have if we do we can see the home page of Kintone because of which we can see only on the top we can see many fields the first of which is the product after that share the customer stories pricing and company we can see we scroll down our page and then here we can see that there is an option of centralize and organization your work and by looking at it we can find out that we have our further we can see how we can give our team an item in any location and any type we can create our own database by dragging and dropping within our script and any app we can design how will you expand them further Similarly, I will scroll the page and see more function about Kintone. So let's start. Here I can watch its free demo movie and use it with free trial in which first I will put my email, email, first name, last name, phone number, company. After that, I will put the size of the company. After I put the size of the company, I will have some more selection inside it. I will check these things and after that I will send this way I can easily send my page by adding you and open the next page after signing up it will take some time after some time a box will show up on the screen in which it will ask for ask me for password I will enter my password on the things given in it and after knowing the password as soon as I click on it it will again ask me for my Gmail password. After entering the Gmail password, I will click on the login option. When the login, then more option becomes appear in front of me, which I can use to open my stuff further. And here I can invite any of my team members to add them to my team. Either I had to give an email address or put it as a name of member. After that, I see a spot on my screen above which I see the introduction of the Kintone in it. I can also add app. I can add app data and edit my forms, etc. More, I can also watch the trailer of it and after that, I get many options in front of me. Addressing them, I face forward. Here is the main page of my Canton key where I see many options. Further, I scroll down my page then I see more options on the right side is spacer and apps option. As soon as I click on apps option, then here I see Kinton marketplace option. Within that, I see departments on the left side of which are customer service, human resource, IT and administration, research and development, marketing, legal and finance, etc. Also below that, I see senior users, different options within and more for that me and many more options looks like. As I look at the center of the screen here, I see the option of credit new app where I can create through Scratch, my app through Excel, through CSV, through the template platform. Today we will learn about app through Scratch. I click on it. I see a home screen in which I see many options at the top. I have a I have to put app name and more I also can do one click off my app by selecting any one icon from all I can do it as soon as I spend one of my app I can change from here I have this icon on my app my app has opened and this is the change here I have a lot of options that include form, views, graphs, and app settings. On the left side I have a lot of fields. I am able to drag and drop any field easily on my page or form. It is easy to drag and drop. I have labels, numbers, time, border, tables, and lots of many other fields on the left side. 
once I see on the left side, which I can easily put on my screen, like I can adjust the checkbox. Here, first of the fields, I have drag and drop the checkboxes field on my screen. Then I have chosen and dropped the drop down field on my screen, followed by the radio buttons and so on. I can also put created by field, created by files on my form. So it's very easy to drag and drop on my screen. All fields have been very well managed and customized. Now, if I do click on any fields, I see options. I see many options below, like setting and delete option, etc. Further, we can change the name of our text by checking any one of the different options below and we can give the number in it from how many to how many numbers we want to allow for our name. Should be more small to big range of our names. I can also give default value inside it and can give it and save it. Like I have done setting to my checkbox, similarly I will do any setting to my other fields by changing the name given in it and below I have given different options in which I have given the option of done and pending rather than sample 1 and 2. I'll also add one more option in it and set it vertically or horizontally and save it. Just like I have changed in my first field, I'll go to my next field drop down settings and change its name inside and change it challenging everything else below. My next field is a radio button inside of which I have changed my name and the settings below it and saved it like in the previous fields. So I have another field where I'm going to set my code and save it. So this is an easy way to change all of these settings. Now I'll add a field of multi-choice in the setting of which I will see the name of the department and using the settings given below, I will go to many options in it, such as education, BSCs, psychology, and other in it. So I have done it and saved. Next to the form, the view is second option within which I can add my view by click on plus sign on the left of screen. I can edit my view, also view in list view, calendar view, and custom view. HTML code is used and inside it, custom view. We can use filters and sorts in it. I can select my filter and add more filter. Same, I can manage sort as a sending and descending order and save it. Also, in this way, I can change the setting of my graph. I can change the name the graph and see its type like pie graph, bar chart, etc. By setting my level, I can select more level in it. I can set filter, function, and sort option inside it. I can set and save my graph. Next to graph, my setting is open, in which I can set within you can set your app's general settings, its customization settings, its notification settings, and more, its permission settings as well. Also at the top of the screen, I see a notification and a star option with it. I can bookmark my page and within it, I can bookmark myself by name and adding URL. The notification is action in which I can set my notification filter by doing different settings. On my homepage, I can create my app from scratch also on Excel and with CSV. So this is an easy way in which I design my app. As we have built our app to scratch in this today's view tutorial, we can design our app in different ways. People can easily design their own app with it. If you have any query, ask your questions inside the action. I hope you enjoyed listening to this tutorial and learned a lot from it. See you in the next video and till then take care.